What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Y, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. We are back with another video today, guys, on some pickups that I have not even shown you guys. I forgot all about these. I actually unboxed them without doing the video. But I'm not going to go ahead. I'm going to go straight into it to let you guys know what I picked up this past weekend from StockX. Now, these are two sneakers that I've taken L's on in the past, but they were not even shoes that you guys might have known I even attempted on because during the time I was out way out on the other side of the country doing other things while these two shoes released i took l's and i told myself just to wait patiently just wait tony wait a little bit and you're gonna get what you get you feel what i'm saying like i noticed one thing about StockX, about the sneaker game in general when a shoe drops you really gotta just play the field and pay attention because sometimes your shoe when it drops the price can drop or the price can go up Sometimes a shoe might go down in price later on. Sometimes a shoe might go up a little bit later on. Perfect example, the Presto acronyms. They dropped, they kind of went around and you know went back and forth on prices a little bit above retail. Now those things are sitting at five to $800. You look at the Yeezys right here. The, uh, well, I don't even have them. That's that little gap right there. The Yeezy, the Coral, the, the, do you remember the, the black and red ones? The black and uh olive cream color you know those three black and white ones whatever those those right there those things are going for like eight hundred dollars now so like shoes go up and down but then you got the wave seven seven hundred wave runner you feel what i'm saying that was going for a thousand dollars when they initially was doing pre-orders and now they're going for a measly three hundred dollars so you really got to pay attention to the market and sometimes you just really can't even know what the hell is going to happen you just have no clue whatsoever if a shoe is going to sit if it's going to rise if it's going to fall so it is a game at the end of the day it's the sneaker game as we call it but anyways guys let's get straight into what we got right here let's get it first up this sneaker right here was actually like sold out for a little bit then they restocked them at other like nike stores throughout la when i was out there during all-star weekend so i I actually probably could have got my hands on it. The thing was is that I was in LA and the shoe store was in Hollywood and getting from LA to Hollywood was like hours of driving. Then we had these Nike events, Adidas events. It was events everywhere and it was kind of like, ah, I had to risk knowing if it was there or not. These things were not really that hard. The thing was you just had to be at the right place at the right, the right time and I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Retail was 175. However, I was able to get them for 225. I waited out a little bit after the release. Now they're going for around 250 and they could go up or down. This is the Kobe One Pronto Black Maze right here. These things are beautiful, man. Check them out. The leather quality is magnificent, and I didn't even really peep it how there's a suede on the inside, the, the linear side, I guess you call it. Now, I seen these shoes when I was out in LA because Kais and YG had these sneakers, but, you know, I, I failed to get them. And I told myself I was going to pick them up. They told me just to kind of wait, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit till the price drops, and I went after them and copped them. I like these shoes a lot. I like how they're bringing the Kobe ones back with the new technology, so they're not feeling like bricks. And the quality is, is A1, man. 175, you got really, really nice uppers of leather and hits a suede on the toe box as well as on the inside. And they give you the new technology the shoe's supposed to be given. So I really like this. This reminds me of, uh, well, these are actually like the Kobe, the, the Kobe Mama Day jerseys, the black and gold ones, I think. But this is actually like a Kobe One Pronto Mama Day that just dropped, which is like an all black. And it's also a new one that's coming out that i've seen it's like a white and purple joint them shits i have to get i have to get them i will link down below in the comment section where you can cop these at or where i got them at the StockX link of course and you can check them out if you want to get a pair but i definitely am happy that they are bringing these kobe ones back because i'm looking forward to it when they initially released guys i thought these were ugly as hell i thought they were ugly i will not sit here and lie to you these shits were ugly. They looked like combat boots. But as time goes on, man, things change. That's what people just don't understand. They want to say like, oh, like, the fact that y'all hated them back then, you got to hate them now. No, things change. Thoughts change. Styles change. And one of these things, they, they change. I think what really changed the game for a lot of sneakers is the way that pants are now. The tapered look, it, it works, it makes things work. Things can sit. You know, back then, these shits were getting swallowed. You, you feel me? Like, straight up. So I'm happy to get this in the collection. You know, Kobe One, Pronto. Had to get them, Pronto. Next up is the best thing I can get to a 2012 release that I really missed out on because at the time, I wasn't really diving as deep into sneakers as I am now. 
I really got really, really solid with it. 2013, you know, like that's when I really started the channel and whatnot. And uh, before then, the year before, Nike released one of the best, if not the best, I would say it's the best, Nike All-Star Basketball Sneaker, you know, collection. The Nike All-Star Basketball Sneaker Collection. We have not seen nothing like that yet. You know, uh, Kobe 6 Grinch, LeBron 9 Big Bang. Uh, my bad, Kobe 6 Grinch was Christmas. All right, sorry. The Kobe 9, I don't know the guy, uh, what was it? It was Cosmos, the Kobe Kobe 7 Cosmos or something like that. It was, I, I forgot the name of the Kobe shoe. Then you had the uh, KD4. That was the, I gotta get these names right, man. I, gotta, hold on, I, I can't be, I can't be sounding stupid. Fuck that. Fuck that, I can't sound stupid. So I was just searching on the internet for Bleach Report, and they're just calling everything the Jordan, you know, the KD4 Galaxy, the K LeBron 9 Galaxy, and the uh, Kobe 7 Galaxy. Now they called it Kobe 7 Big Bang All Star. I don't, I don't, I thought the LeBron 9 was the Big Bang. So I, I don't know what the this look, man. Forgive me, okay? But they were all the Galaxy shoes, and then the of course the Galaxy Foam Posit was the, the 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 Omega. You feel what I'm saying to that whole collection, and they're gone. You know what I'm saying? Resell for like $800 to $1,000, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get a pair, you can cop your money up. Anyways, I got the next best thing that was closest to it, and that was the Air Foam Posit 1 XXQS. XX, I don't know if that stands for 20 or what. $230, it's a little bit more, but their foam's going for $250, so I, I can accept that. And that is the Big Bang Foam Posits, aka the Galaxy 2.0, and uh, these things looking good. They're looking really good. They're looking fucking buttery scotch puss, straight up. Now, these are not the Galaxy Foams. They will never be the Galaxy Foams, but these will be the closest thing to them in the Galaxy Foam category. And uh, they have a nice gloss to them, a nice look. I'm really digging them. I can't go, you can't really, you know, complain. And I I'm happy to add it to my arsenal. This isn't a shoe that I would wear really often, but it's a good shoe to have in my collection for what it is. You feel what I'm saying? It's the closest thing, and I just I like its represent what it represents, and I just like the shoe. I liked it, and I, when I missed out on it, I had to get it. You know, I didn't. The thing about it was when it was in LA, I didn't know where they released, how they released, or what. I don't even know if they were on sneakers app. I was so out of the loop because so much stuff was going on in real life. It was not a. I, I couldn't focus what was going on on the internet, and I couldn't find or I didn't hear of a store that was dropping these in LA, even though I'm pretty positive there was a store dropping it. You know, got the verification on deck once again. And uh, I got these, I, like I said, I believe for like 488 or no, 470, they're going for like 488 now. You know, I make sure to link both of the shoes down below in the description where you can cop them at if you want to check it out as well as the StockX in general. And you know, these things are magnificent, man. These are astronaut ball sacks, straight up. Astronaut nut sacks floating in the thin air. So yeah, guys, like, I mean, you know, I, I've been messing with StockX for a minute now. I have shopped with GOAT a couple times, but really after going out to Detroit and just really seeing StockX, filling them out, seeing how they are, meeting people, seeing who's handling my shoes physically, like, I met the person that was doing this, checking it, making sure, smelling it, making sure everything was legit. You know, after doing that, that kind of really made me, that stuck out with me. So, you know, it is what it is. It might be a little biased just for the fact that I met him personally. But the thing is, when you compare StockX to like someone like GOAT, StockX, you've seen them. You know who runs the company. You've seen the headquarters. You've seen videos on it. GOAT, I don't know nothing about GOAT except for that they just bought Flight Club. That's all I know. That's it. That's all you get from them. I don't know the owner. I don't know who runs it. I don't, I don't know nothing. So that's why I've been shopping with them. I've copped, you know, Jordan 6, um, Chinese New Year's, Jordan 6 Gatorades. What else I got? Dang, I, got I got some other shit from them too, like a whole, uh, uh, one of the Converse packs. I've gotten a lot of stuff in from them and really never had a problem. So, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I let you guys decide who you want to deal with. But that's who I've been rolling with for a minute, and I'm happy to finally get these kicks in, you know, for, you know, even though I missed out and I was out there the All-Star Weekend. Good to add them in the arsenal. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below on the Kobe 1 Pronto. Are you dope? Are you excited? I said, are you dope? Are you excited for the new drops that are coming out with this shoe in particular? And also about the Big Bang. Is this, this is it dead? Is it time to let the foams die? Or was this like a little nice, you know, enlightenment or 
nice drop to retro to bring back some like you know feeling of the nostalgia that was once a big thing for nike basketball in 2012 let me know you guys thoughts and pins down below on that i would love to hear for you and make sure you guys make sure you follow me on my instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat all that at tony d2 wild you can follow me over on twitch now at tony d2 wild and i might be going live tonight on that Fortnite because my fingers are getting jittery. It's time to get back. So follow me there. I love you guys. Thank you for all the continuous love and support. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on the new mic system. I got a lapel mic right here. So it might be good, it might be bad. If it was bad, then bear with me. I'm gonna do some fixing up. We're gonna get shit right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And it's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in, I'm checking out. I love you guys. Peace.